The new electronic game caller is honestly an amazing addition to Call of the Wild. It absolutely makes the game so much better. But today I want to take it out to the New England Mountains and we're going to try and call in some big white-tailed deer. All right, we just got to our first location yeah. here and we happen to have a nice herd of white-tailed deer in the premises. Yeah. There's another small buck over here as well as a couple of does, but they are trotting in yeah. pretty nicely. We have the caller set up right here maybe 20 yards behind us and we're gonna see just how close these deer come we have the recurve bow with the 420 grain arrows so you can definitely use that and we also have the ar-308 and the 10 millimeter glock pistol so we'll see what happens what i'd like to do is take a couple of far shots with this I mean, not super far, but I'd like to take some 40 plus yard shots with this and just see if we can get this thing dialed in. So right there is about 60. Now that's just a bit too far. But this deer is 20 yards out right here. And I feel like we could probably heart shoot that thing there and potentially not spook anything else. Oh my god, it worked. What a shot. Alright, so this buck here is roughly 45 yards out. Oh, he's about 50 right there. Now, I wouldn't mind going for that shot. Aside from the fact that he is partially spooked. So he could easily dodge our shot. And it's not worth taking the shot. So what we have to do is stop the caller let him calm down and then try and lure him back in because if we took the shot while he's attentive he's gonna absolutely bolt and we're gonna end up hitting him somewhere in the vertebrae or something like that okay there we go it worked he's coming back in and he's right out there at 50 yards which is exactly where i was hoping he'd be Preferably a little more broadside would be nice, but we'll see what happens here. Oh So right there, he's About 45 Right over the top Got him that time though. I'm talking right over the top of the back Follow-up shot definitely connected and he is down Wow <laughs> Than a whole separate herd of whitetails, you guys. Yeah. And there's a nice buck out there, and another yeah. nice one over there, and a small yeah. buck right on top of us here. Holy, it's a good thing yeah. we took the shot when we did. We got a doe right on top of us. Yeah. We'll probably take down this small buck here first. That buck there's about 30 yards out, and yeah. that was a perfect shot double lung liver right there what i do want to do is stop the caller again and try and get this decent buck to come in a little bit closer so we'll wait a couple of seconds and we'll turn it back on there we go that was so cool the fact that we called in an entire separate herd of whitetails that we had no clue were even there oh and there's even more coming in Look at this, another good buck and another good buck. This is absolutely unbelievable. I love this caller so much because there's so many animals in the area that you just don't know are there. And usually you're walking through too quick when you potentially could have spooked a big buck. Or in this case here, look at this buck coming right in. A nice white tail and another one there as well. But I do believe the other big buck is right over there, 120 yards out from us. Now the wind here is not ideal, and that's kind of what's happening. So we got to try and get these deer to come back in. Again, we'll take a little break with the collar and turn it back on. All right, well, time to head to a new location. And our caller, as well as, I believe we got three deer, right? Yeah, we got three. We got this one in the end. That was a beautiful lung, liver, intestine shot. That was the small one. 35 yards. 
Then we got two over here. One which we did make an excellent follow-up shot. And then this one here was a perfect, what should be heart shot. Actually, it was double lung at 22 yards. So, so far we only did get one decent buck, which we took right there and he's piled up right over here. But at least we did get our two and that's a 148. Got a nice right lung shot there at 43 yards out. You're not gonna believe this, but as we were heading over to our next location, we're literally 250 yards away and we spotted this track here, a max weight track and we yeah, we're about 300 yards away from where we just had our tripod set up. So I'd say if this deer was maybe 50 yards closer to the south side, that buck probably would have came into the call. We just got up into our tripod and take a look at this incredible view here. We can literally see the whole river bottom down to the right side of us, along with this uh, brush row here, which is surrounding this whole entire pumpkin field. So what a perfect layout. If you look right there, you can see the river. Beautiful location. Oh, what do we got right here sneaking in? What do we got right here? We got two does coming in right in front of us. The big buck should be with him somewhere. That is another doe. So we got three deer coming across. All does. And another doe. Oh, nice buck, nice buck, nice buck. It's not, it's not our big buck, but it's a nice buck right behind us here. He's about 30 yards out right there, and that's a very, very difficult angle for the shot. What is that? What is that? Another buck over there. This one's a little bigger. Perfect heart shot. Dropped him right there. Still don't see that huge. Oh, we got more deer over there as well. We literally have like seven does out here. And we can't get that huge buck to come out. I don't know where he's at. Oh, that's a good buck though. That's a real good buck. More does coming in. Oh my God, there's does everywhere. All right, well, we're gonna go for a shot on this buck here first. He's about 40 out. If he gets a little bit closer, we should have a better angle for the shot. But I don't think we're gonna get one. That's a very tough angle. Oh, look, at he's coming right in. He's coming right in. He's about 30 yards right there. And he's coming closer. Perfect. 25 yards 30 yards perfect shot smoked him all right now we're actually gonna call in that bull moose because that's a solid looking bull let's see if we can't get him to come in bear 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 oh it's actually a female if it was a male I would try and call it in, but since it's only a female, I don't think it's worth it. It's better if we invest our time trying to find that other big buck or potentially calling in this big bull moose. So let's get down there and go pick some of these up. I am kind of curious where we actually did hit on this buck or if we potentially did pull off a perfect heart shot. Cause I would have to say that we probably did. But I guess it could have been double long. Not even anywhere close to a heart shot. Ended up getting him right in the neck. 29 yards. But hey, it worked out perfectly. Because he dropped right there. And this one was an epic quartering away double lung liver intestine shot. Well, would you look at that? Just as pretty as a picture out there happens to be our big white tail buck. And our 220 plus is sitting right there. So we ended up spotting him. We have our tripod set up right here and we're actually pretty close to where he's been hanging out. I was hoping he'd be over here, but this location is not bad. So all we really have to do is kind of move up a little bit closer. We'll set up our tripod right about here and then we should be able to call that buck. 
into range. All right, here we go. It's the next morning, and right now we're getting our tripod set up here. We want to put it right on the edge of this little cornfield. And it's also going to be overlooking this little valley to the right side of us here. So I'm thinking that's going to be kind of the ultimate location right there. And we'll put our, our caller basically right on this little road. I mean, I don't see why not. Just a little gravel road. So we'll put it right here on the opposite side. And we're going to have a perfect wind. They're probably going to be coming out of this woods here. The thing about these big bucks, though, is... You really just never know where they're going to come out. I mean, you could think you have it all figured out and they're going to come right through this trail right here because you've seen them do it 20 times. But the one time you set on this trail, he's actually going to come out over here. <laughs> you know, and they're just so unpredictable. Oh, <gasps> we got motion. We got motion. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Here they come. Here they come. All right. Hold on. We got a doe coming in first. We may have gotten a little bit too excited. Because I'm not seeing a buck just yet. Come on. The buck's gotta be in here somewhere. Another... Oh my god. I just saw a big rat coming in. That's gotta be... It's him! It's him! There's our big buck. He's coming right in. Look at that. Beautiful white tail buck. Alright. We got our collar set up right here in front of us, roughly 30 yards out. And these deer are slowly working their way in. There's our big buck right there. So I can't tell if this big buck wants to come into the call or not. I hear something coming in, but I don't think it's our buck. Ooh, it's a doe coming in. All right. Uh, for some reason, these deer don't want to come in. I'm not sure why, but let's try that again. Maybe do bleed or something. I don't know. Maybe we'll change it up. They got to come in. This doe came right in. Hold on. There's something else coming in here. Oh, a buck. Not a very big. Actually, that might be a somewhat of a decent buck. I can't tell. Nope, that is definitely not a somewhat of a decent buck. In fact, that's a tiny one, but there's more. Ooh, that's a somewhat of a decent buck. A real good buck coming in. A couple of does coming in as well. So it's a good thing we waited to take the shot. That buck is 30 yards. Ooh. Got a decent hit, but get him, got him a little bit far back. Oh, that shot was money. Whew. So that buck is going down. But we do got to figure out where our big buck is at. <sighs> I thought for sure we had him. But again, he outsmarted us for the second time. Well, here's this deer and ended up getting a nice left lung shot there at 46 yards out. And let's pick it up. Yep, pushed it wide right, 36 yards out. Decent buck though, 171. And I think we figured out where our big buck is at. We got a bunch of deer right down there. So far, those are all does. And there he is right there. There's our big buck. All right, but how in the heck are we gonna call in these deer? Unless we go down here on the river and potentially try and call them into us. That just might work. There's a little pocket right here in front of us as well. The only thing is usually, well not usually, but a lot of times they don't really come too close. That's only 150 yards out, so he'll definitely hear that call. Actually, it goes to 220. So if we go back 20 yards, oh my. God, no freaking way, no way. Okay, please tell me I have the grunt. I don't even think we have the grunt on us. That's a, that's a giant buck, I can't even. It's kind of dumb that you can't put this in the water or on a rock even. Oh, you can put it on a rock. What? All right, all right. All right, let's put it on the rock. And. Maybe we can move this tripod a little bit closer. 
Oh, <gasps> dude, there he is. There he is. There's our giant time potential. Wait till Buck. He's 280 yards out. Oh my god. I doubt we'll be able to call him in, but you just never know. Okay, good. So these deer didn't spook from that. I was hoping they wouldn't. Come on. All we gotta do is get that thing to come in. I don't have the grunt collar on us either. For some reason, we forgot to equip that. Look at that. Well, the good thing is we could take him down right now with the AR-308. And I think we just might. We're gonna have to. One, because this buck doesn't want to come in. And two, because this buck doesn't want to come in. So that buck's out there broadside. Whoa, 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 wait a second. Don't do that, don't do that. He's 250 yards out, now he's walking on us. And we just smoked him. <laughs> Huge buck is going down. Oh my God, that was a giant. Trust me, I would have loved nothing more than to call in that huge buck right into our collar, but it's way too difficult to figure out where he's going to be. I already hunted all morning this morning and started right here. We did find another couple of big bucks over here, but we covered this whole area and there's no sign. Where are these random bucks coming from? We'll set up our tripod just over here and we'll put up the collar kind of right behind us. So we'll see if maybe we can get one to come into range. Actually, let's put up the tripod right over here, right up on the high. Yeah, that's perfect. Then we can set the collar right down here and hopefully we lure him in. Just like that, right there. All right, let's get over here and go take a look at this huge dime potential white tail buck. I do believe he's got the guaranteed diamond rack. So he should be like a 260 plus. Actually, where was that buck even? Oh, there we go. There's some good blood. That's exactly where he was when we took the shot. And it looks like he's piled up right here. He didn't go 25 yards. And he's laying right here. Let's take a look at this buck, guys. It's gonna be a diamond, 259 diamond whitetail buck. He is in fact the guaranteed diamond, but I thought he'd be like a 260. I thought he'd be a little bigger than that, but uh, wow, they're very, wow, very nice. 270 yard, perfect lung shot with the AR 308. Tell you what, I am really glad we weren't sitting out here with the 44 lever action rifle right now. <laughs> because if that was the case, we'd be in for a heap of trouble. But look at that buck. Beautiful whitetail. Yeah, he's getting mounted for sure. Well, what a heck of an incredible bonus, huh? Now let's get back out there tomorrow morning and um, I know we're not gonna get anything bigger than this, but we do happen to have Another huge whitetail out there, and hopefully we can take him down with a new recurve bow. But there's actually even another big buck right there, which is potentially a 180 plus as well. Sitting out there roughly 80 yards. However, this 180 plus is coming right in, and look at the rack on that buck. Great, great rack on that buck. He's only 50 yards out, so he's borderline in range. But we gotta get him come a little bit closer, and hopefully he turns broadside. Yeah, he's gonna come right past us. Look at this. Perfect heart shot. Woo! Couldn't quite double up. But what an epic shot. And a huge white tail buck is down. Oh, we got a doe out here as well. Now we gotta get ready because this big buck could be showing up at any second. All right, here he is. We tried for a heart shot. Did we get it? Still didn't get a heart shot, but it's a 184 whitetail buck and it was a 18 yard shot right over the top of the heart. So perfect double lung shot at 20 yards on that buck. He's a great looking buck as well. 
Not exactly sure why, but our other big buck just decided to trot off for some reason. I'm thinking maybe we spooked that doe, and then the doe spooked the other big buck. Luckily for us, that's not the one that we're after right now. Oh, but this might be... Oh my god, it is! That's our buck right there. He's coming in 200 yards out, coming right in. Look at that. We just barely picked up that last buck in time. And now we happen to have this huge white tail coming right in. All right, I think we're going to put out the collar right now. All right, well, it looks like the does are coming into range here. They're about 45 yards out from us. And our big buck is slowly working his way in. Oh, man, this is awesome. So she's sitting out there at about 40 yards. But she's coming right to us. And if he follows, oh boy, it's going to be pretty awesome. Yeah, she's right. Whoa, 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 whoa. This doe is less than 10 yards away from us. Not exactly ideal, but I think we'll be all right. This buck is a little bit out of range here. You're talking 60 plus yards. So I think we should be okay. They're going right to the collar. And this buck is coming directly towards us. I'm talking directly towards us. He's still calm, so that's good. Where's the collar at actually? I'm pretty sure the collar is right over there. Oh, here he comes. Oh, he's 48 yards. Oh, it's a little ways out there, guys. It's a little ways out there. Ooh. But we may have to go for the shot. I don't know, because last time that buck did the exact same thing. Okay, we're definitely going to have to take the shot. So he is 50 yards. And that is in range. It's just a matter of getting him to turn a little more broadside. The fact that these deer all came right past us and he didn't though is kind of concerning. Wait, 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 wait. He's trying to cut our scent. Oh, son of a... He busted us. We had him at less than 50 yards away. But the wind got the best of us. Now what we need to do is make sure we move our tripod a little closer to the water. We had him too. We had him at 50 yards. If he was a little bit closer and then turned broadside, I probably would have taken the shot, but I'm definitely not taking a 50 yard uh, quartering at shot. I'm definitely not going to be doing that. So, however, I think if we set up the tripod like right here, then we should have a good wind. Because even if they come in from right down this river bottom here, they're still going to come right towards us. And the wind will be shifting off to the south side over here. So, yeah, I think that actually just might work. Then again, we'll set up our collar right down here just behind us. And we'll come back tomorrow morning. All right, guys, it's the next morning now, and we just got back out here to our tripod. We have a perfect wind, and I'm absolutely loving this setup. Oh, this buck's getting a lot closer now. What do we got over there? A rabbit. Yeah, this buck here is 49 yards out. Oh, actually, this buck stops here at 30 yards. We could potentially drop him right there and not spook that big buck. Perfect shot. Yep, he didn't spook. I mean, yeah, we could take that shot right there. 
But he's about 50 yards. Tell you what, if he stops one more time, we're taking that shot. Got him, but I think we hit him too far back. Yep, intestine shot. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. He's not going far. He is not going far. In fact, he's going to pile up right over there. Is that intestine or is that vertebrae? Whatever it is, he's piled up there. Right down on the bottom of this ravine. And just like that, we spotted him. Here he comes right out there 250 yards out this time we have a perfect wind all right guys here we go he's stepping out right out there he stopped 50 yards out from us we got doves right on top of us here so he should come in to check it out yep here he comes he's almost in range but we're gonna let him come as close as he possibly can. That's 40 yards right there. I'll tell you what, if he gets to 30 and turns broadside, we're gonna let one fly. He's 30 yards right there, but we do not have a shot. And this doe is way too close. This buck better stop, this buck better stop. Come on, turn back, turn back, turn back, turn back, turn back. Oh, we hit him super far back. We smoked him. Oh my God. We smoked him. What a shot. Holy, he was quartering almost directly away. We hit him right in front of that hind quarter. But because he was angled so much, we went up in there and got liver, potentially even lung. Oh. This buck has been way too smart for us, and we were not gonna waste another opportunity to try and get him. But we got him. We definitely got him. All right, let's turn this collar off and get down there and go pick him up. Plus we have this big buck here too, which we absolutely drilled right in the front shoulder and dropped right there. All right, let's grab our collar. Our tripod and then these deer. So here's our 180 plus whitetail buck. It's going to be a 193.55 and he was just shy of gold. Pulled off an epic double lung shoulder blade shot though at 30 yards out. Very nice whitetail down. And then of course, let's go over here and take a look at this monster. The cool part about this is this is the exact spot that we just took down our huge diamond whitetail. And now we took down a huge whitetail as well. So there was the shot. Actually, I think it was back here a little bit further or something. Yep, back here. That's a vital hit. That's a vital hit. Wow. I am so impressed with that shot. I mean, look at where we hit him, right in that back hind quarter. But we ended up getting a liver shot. Oh, it was perfect. It was honestly going straight for the back of the heart. I will take that shot all day long. Beautiful, beautiful shot. And of course, we have our other 180 plus whitetail that piled up right over here. Our shot was just a little bit too high. Yeah, he was at 190s. 52 yards. We were just a little bit too high on that shot. That's all it was. Had we been dropped down another four inches, that would have been a smoke buck. All right, guys, we just got to our next location here. And this spot happens to have two giant bucks including this absolute massive 240 plus whitetail buck right here. Look at the size of that thing. 
Now we got the collar set up right here, about 30 yards away behind us. Right tucked in that brush. And we have a perfect wind here for this setup. Now we gotta be patient and wait for the right moment. Ooh, here we go. He's less than 40 yards out, coming right in. He's now in range. All he's gotta do is turn a little more broadside and we'll have a shot. Here we go. Oh my God. He's 30 yards away. Just a little bit more. Ooh, that's perfect. That's perfect right there. It's actually less than 30 right there. Smoked him. What a shot! What a shot! He's going down! Oh my god, an incredible shot! And a giant whitetail buck hits the ground. Woo! Wow! The snort must have something to do with getting their attention because usually if they're um, previously spooked like that they don't tend to come into this uh, game caller. They will come into a grunt call typically but the game caller usually they don't as you probably saw before. We got a doe right on top of us here at about 24 yards out and these deer are coming right into the caller. Look at that. In fact the caller is right there, and the deer are walking less than 10 yards away from the caller. If our buck comes to right there, we're going to have a pretty good setup. Oh, there he is right there. He's about 50 yards out from us. Almost in range. But he's still coming in. Remember, we took a 50-yard shot before, and we actually did decent. We were just a little bit too high. A little bit too high. So, though we could go for that shot, we're going to hold off. We'll wait a little bit longer and try and get him to come in to about 40 yards out. Ooh, the wind is blowing right towards that buck. It's a good thing he's a small buck because otherwise he'd be busting us. Yep, this buck's still coming in. We'll just let him come in as close as he possibly can. Pull back and let one fly. Ooh. Broadside, 40 yards out right there. That's pretty much a shot. We could definitely take that shot, but why not let him get a little bit closer? Why not let him get to about 30 and then we'll go for the shot, especially when he's gonna come even closer. He's right now less than 30 yards out from us. He's a great looking buck. Oh, broadside, there we go. 30 yards, broadside, that's what we want right there. The perfect, ideal shot. Smoked him. Woo! Doubled up on two absolute monster whitetail bucks with the recurve bow. And take a look right here. Even this buck looks like an absolute stud of a white teal. He's going to be at 213 gold. And we pulled off a double lung liver shot at 30 yards away. So an incredible double lung liver shot. 30 yards on a huge white tail buck. But this one is the biggest of them all. He's going to be a 230 plus guaranteed gold white tail. Let's take a look at him. It's going to be even bigger than that. It's going to be a double lung spine shot, 240 gold. Look at the size of that buck right there. So we got him a little bit higher. That's because he was actually 25 yards out. 
and we thought he was 30 so this thing does have a little bit of raise and yeah one could say we got a slight bit lucky on that shot but i would also say it was an epic shot because to get shoulder blade spine and lung that's a pretty amazing shot that is definitely our second biggest buck of the hunt of course it's our biggest one that we've called in but it is not quite as big as the huge diamond that we got however that one didn't necessarily come into the call so that's gonna be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and let me know what you guys want us to hunt next thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time